Hello! Double stream today! <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know what I'm drawing. Actually, no, I, I do know what I'm going to be drawing. Uh, working on a thumbnail for a uh, second video. My T-3 and T-4 run. <laughs> that went pretty well, I'll, I'll just say that. Kind of, but yeah. Anyway, uh, ignore this one. I, I am not going to work on it anymore. Despite somehow I made it look cute. Uh, hello, who's here? Toxic drop by, magical drop by, and Yui drop by. Hello. Yes, double stream today. Hello, X, how are you? Okay, let me just exit this. I don't know how I drew the style. Sometimes I don't know. My art is inconsistent. Okay, this is what I'm going to be drawing. <laughs> it's going to be like a two-part story with with the upcoming thumbnails i'll just say that i might have to redraw this later because this is like a rough sketch but maybe i'll just keep it as is um you, you, you'll see what this is oh what are you okay <laughs> your elbow oh no you, i hope you're doing fine Okay, I'll just leave this as a sketch because I don't want to work on it too too long. Oh, you're you're not doing fine. Oh no. <laughs> Get it checked. What's the plan for tonight? Um first of all, I, I hope you're doing well. Please please get your elbow checked. <laughs> oh no. X, why are you here? <laughs> What's my plan for tonight? Um, just doodling this thumbnail and then I'll just doodle whatever for the rest of the stream. I do kind of want to draw my character in like cute outfits. Maybe some random outfits. Though I kind of want to do like an art study as well. So uh, we'll, we'll do that as well. Yes, yes, yes. That's the plan. If I can make it, if I can finish this in like an hour and then the remaining hour until like 12, I'll, I'll doodle whatever. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> oh no, you should be sleeping then! What are you doing? Maid outfit? Maid outfits are cute. Sure, maybe, why not? Depends on my mood. Whatever my hand wants me to draw. But yeah, so today's stream, right? In in the afternoon, IS, IS4. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I didn't think that doing one BN stage would be... A disaster, sort of. <laughs> Took like four hours, my goodness. <sighs> I, I am not a med medical professional, so I can't really like give you any advice for that split elbow, man. But take care, take care. I gotta erase whatever thing I have over there. It's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Am I gonna color this? I mean, I feel like I should color this eventually. But, man, this does not look like my character. It's okay. I'll- I'll- I'll live. You, got, you guys can tell. As long as I color in the blue hair and then- and then the diamonds later. Yeah, it's all fine. on the head here. Actually, the sketch is kind of going pretty well so far. I'm not going to clean it up or anything to save me time. Nowadays, I feel like I don't have the energy to draw like <laughs> consistent thumbnails like before in the past, like last year. I mean, sometimes I still do, but only when I have enough energy to. Do you guys prefer sketchy thumbnails or... Fully, fully rendered and somewhat like cell shaded thumbnails. Like I'll give you an example. 
I mean, obviously you can tell which ones are sketchy, but then like the nice, nicely rendered ones, I guess the latest one would be maybe the Ender Lilies one, where where I did that like half body doodle of myself. That one was kind of pretty much rendered. Hello, Grizzly. Oh, that one? Okay, that one was basically a sketch. A colored sketch. You can't really tell from afar, but like, that is a sketch in my eyes. <laughs> like the meme ones and the ones with Pallas in them. <laughs> the meme ones I haven't drawn that much at all. Actually, I do have a meme redraw in the works, but I haven't really finished it. I'm like line arting it. But then the more I... The more lines I draw in it, the more I'm like, oh no, am I gonna get in trouble for this? <laughs> I mean, I'll, I guess I can spoil it to whoever's in chat right now because there's only like, what? Maybe like five of you in here, maybe? So it's basically that like Jackie Chan, like confused expression, but like redrawn. It's basically that. So maybe sometime in the future, expect a thumbnail with that expression, but me. <laughs> Yeah, I do want to do more meme redraws. Oh yeah, I do have... Mm, would you say it's a meme redraw? But it's more so of a, um... I guess... Mm, a test. I wanted to try doing something, like an animation. Because the original author was like, Oh, uh, my video thumbnail thing is like, you can trace it to uh, make your own works for personal use or something like that. But then I'm like, man, I kind of wanted to like draw it on stream, but then like YouTube's monetized and all that stuff. So I'm just like, hmm, I can't really draw that on stream, can I? Because I want to like respect the artist's wishes. I might just randomly post that on like Twitter or something as like a fun little doodle thing. Use it on your next Baldur's Gate video. <laughs> Uh, if, if the situation matches, you know? Sure, why not? Hello, pilot. How are you? Okay, what layer is this? Seven. Yeah, this drawing is not looking too good, but, you know, it's okay. It's supposed to be sketchy, it's supposed to be ugly, it's supposed to be messy. It's all fine. It's supposed to be meme too. Well, actually... The, the thumbnail that you're gonna see first is kind of neat, so this one is like, uh, <laughs> not as nice. But it's a bit more goofier, I'll just say that, okay? This is fine. Okay, there we go, there we go. I forgot to draw the other arm. Oopsies. Oh, look at me having a floating arm. Isn't that- isn't that neat? Magic trick. What's anatomy? I don't know what I'm drawing, as long as it looks okay. This is- this is fine. Okay, never mind. It doesn't look fine. I don't like the look of this. Artist struggles. I hate drawing arms. In like different angles. Wait, if it's like this... Sorry, I'm just like trying to pose myself to see what, what exactly am I imagining. No, 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 not like that. No. <laughs> if only I had a mirror in the room. But I don't. Suspended via methods we can't see. <laughs> Right, exactly. Nice save there. Okay, maybe if I do it like this, it'll make more sense. Kind of? Not really? No? Okay, this is fine. We'll just do this. Yep, alright, cool. Messy enough. To, to pass it off. 
y'all won't notice, maybe, except for those of you in stream because I'm pointing out my mistakes and whatnot. Alright, I should probably upload the video that I already have ready to send out. Hold up a second. Let me just do that real quick. I am multitasking right now. <laughs> this is what we do on stream. Or a stream that I have not planned at all for. But this is like spontaneous. Okay, where is it? I'm basically done this. I don't really need to put timestamps. I don't feel like anyone's gonna watch this. Maybe like a couple of you guys, but aside from that, it's just for um, completion's sake on my channel to prove that I actually did these stages. It'll just be on my channel. That's it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, there it is. And then I'll just like post it on Twitter later, I guess. Okay. There we go. Post. I'm like, <laughs> re I reused the afternoon sprite for, for this video, just saying, because I was like, I might as well use the both of them. There we go. Feel free to watch it later if you guys want to. It's nothing, nothing too scuffed, I will say. Sorry, you probably don't know what I'm saying, right? I'm more distracted by the acute finger angle. It's alright, shush. <laughs> no one needs to know! I really am, X. I really am. Oopsie. Press shift a few two, two more two times. Nope, 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 nope. Stop, stop. Computer, stop. Okay, there we go. Sorry for the, like, amount of pings I'm sending out today on Discord. <laughs> if you guys have, like, both live stream and video notifications on, yeah, it's fine. You know, I was so close to not streaming tonight because Yuriel was like, you want to play Stardew? And then I was like, oh shoot, I already planned, like, a drawing stream. It's okay. I'll play with her another night. Hello, LP. How are you? Okay, where the heck is this finger? There it is. Alright, take care, Quill. Thanks for popping by. Oh yeah, I play Stardew Valley. I I've been like obsessed with it ever since the 1.6 update. <laughs> Stardew collab- No, I feel like- Playing with Uriel during our own time, I feel like it doesn't feel right to stream it. Unless she wants to. Maybe one day we'll stream and show you guys our farm. I'll, I'll bring it up to her. But right now our farm is very, um, how should I say it? Very messy, I will say that. Um, there's no organization. Crops are everywhere. <laughs> Just like my own farm, kind of. Oh yeah, we also play with Kiriko too, whenever she's free. But lately it's only been like me and Yuriel, because it's the same server. Did you know there's like 8 player multiplayer now in Stardew Valley multiplayer? They can play with more friends instead of 4! I'm still like exploring or like finding new things in the new update. Or maybe they're like from the old update and I didn't even realize. Because I don't think I really touched the 1.5 update stuff all that much, aside from like Volcano Island. Not Volcano Island, or Ginger Island. Right. If you guys know what that is. <laughs> Do not let me near Stardew Valley. <laughs> what do you mean, X? What do you mean you become an evil person? I've been waiting for a Switch update? Oh, right. Um, The, the developer was like, the mobile and... Switch update or something is gonna be out soon? Or it's like in, in the works, right? I thought the 1.6 update was like uh, sent out to every uh, platform that Stardew was on, but I guess not. Uh, 
Oh, I kind of saw in the Discord. I was like kind of peeking and I and by chance I saw what happened. I can't believe you blocked her. <laughs> that was so funny. But I'm like, I guess that would explain why she couldn't reply to you. Mm, you don't want to know what I do in Stardew? I don't recognize myself. I become a villain. What do you do? Do you put like a poisonous red mushroom in the potluck? Is that what you do? Decrease everyone's friendship? Hmm, yeah, not yet then. But just wait, just wait. You're, you're in for like a treat with the 1.6 update. Patience, patience, Grizzly. Eventually it'll be sent out. Believe in the dub. Okay, I think I'm done with the hair here. I, I can just erase this, can't I? Yeah. Oh yeah, my community Discord that I, uh... It's semi-public. So I... Basically how it works is like... Every month... Or like every other month, depending on my mood, I, I'll send out like a... Discord link that people can join. And it'll only be up for like a week in that month. So I haven't sent it out this month yet, so keep an eye out for the community post because that's where I usually post it. So yeah, that's about it. But it's only like there for people who want to chat with each other, like everyone in the community. I just lurk in there. I barely talk in there. Occasionally. Occasionally I post there, but you can get early notifications on stuff and then maybe random Discord events that I do plan on in the future. So yeah, look forward to that. Maybe. Like that drawing thing that I wanted to do for, for Discord, but then uh, I haven't really found time to, to do that, honestly. It's alright. Eventually. In time. Mm, I don't know if I want to share it. So funny. Oh, hello, Raven. How are you? Wait, what? What did you do, X? <laughs> Wait, am I scared? What am I scared of? <laughs> I mean, I lurk. I lurk in Discord, okay? Like, I see everything that you guys say. Just saying. <laughs> like the secret little game room that some of y'all have in there. The amount of Honkai Star Rail talk that a lot of you guys seem to be talking about and playing because I don't play Honkai Star Rail and then Arknights well Arknights is kind of dead but every now and then whenever something big happens and then yeah not much my, my server is pretty quiet but when there is talking you guys have a good time right without me I'm <laughs> waiting for the day to let you go hand me <laughs> hand holding stream right there was that hello Kiriko how are you you know Haley, right? Yeah, Haley, the blonde girl. The the blonde girl who basically wants to leave Stardew Valley, but she can't. What did you do to Haley? <laughs> X. Very cold. Oh no, Kiriko. Do you want some hand warmers? I have some hand warmers. Next time you pop by, I can give some to you. Well, the weather's been kind of getting warm lately, so I don't know if you need them. Oh man, Grizzly, you should have seen my first hand-holding session, like, last year. Was it- wasn't it back in December? Yeah, it was December. That was a whole mess, but like, it was so funny. <laughs> Check back on the VOD if you want. Oh no, X. What did you do? Did you give her like the most hated item? <laughs> oh yeah, you did tell me that. I mean, you could. You could if you want. Unless you go to like a, a different family member's house. Place and then borrow their shower. But dude, get a new boiler! I've been saying that this entire time! You said you fixed it once, and then it broke down again? <laughs> like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Kiriko, you should start your own fundraiser. <laughs> fundraiser for a new boiler. <laughs> oh my gosh, X. Are you actually- Oh no. <laughs> No, man, that feeling when like you're digging through the trash in Stardew Valley and then a villager catches you just digging through the trash and you're just like, oh no, the embarrassment, but also the amount of items that I can potentially get from the garbage. Like, you know, you can get like bread, you can get some cookies from the garbage and that'll help with your health, right? It's not moldy. You know, I kind of low-key wish that like Stardew Valley had like this freshness rarity thing in the game for like all produce to make it even worse or like harder because in some previous like story of season games um if you don't know story of seasons is the um original developer of like harvest moon but then there was like that whole trademark scandal that happened like the the, the western company publisher that took over that name and then they had to rebrand into story of season but yeah anyway so uh, some other games had this like freshness system where um, over time the produce or food would like degrade and the quality would be like really bad. Well, not to the point where it would turn into like some moldy item, but I do kind of want to see a game that does that. <laughs> oh no, here I go. Okay, good luck. Believe then. But yeah, that's so true. That's so Asian. <laughs> Hello, Fiddle Six. How are you? Mmm. <sighs> Romancing her sister. <laughs> she has to deal with me all the time. Oh no. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. How do I do? How do I draw like explosion-looking things? Maybe when it's colored, it'll, it'll look better. I don't know. This looks more like fire than anything. It's okay. Yeah, we were talking about Stardew Valley. And then how spiteful X was, apparently, towards this one character after they made fun of their fit. Hello, Jaybrew. Minecraft villagers. <laughs> oh no, what do you do? Okay, hold up. Now I'm done with the explosion thingies. Now I have to draw spiders. Or maybe I could just reuse that spider. The spider thumbnail thing. Or sprite that I drew like a while ago. Hold up a second. Do I want to redraw it? No, I might as well redraw it. Okay, how do I draw spiders? Okay, how to draw a spider body? I think it's like this. I kind of wish Sai had like a motion blur. A motion blur like brush that I can use to show that the spider is being like flung away, but this is fine. Then maybe I'll just color it later. There we go. And then I'll just like um, maybe copy paste a bunch of these so I don't have to redraw this. I told you guys this was going to be like super sketchy. And how, how, how long has it been? It's only been like a couple minutes. It's fine. I'm like speeding through this actually.
Okay, there we go. The legs are done. Do I want to color? I don't really want to color. It's okay. Now just resize this one. This is gonna be one weird thumbnail. This, people are gonna be like, what the heck is this? What is going on? And that, and that spider's on the floor as well. the spider. I need to move it. Or actually, maybe I can draw, I can draw it like this and then blur maybe? Blurring works? Oh, blurring, do blurring does not work. Oh wait, or actually blurring does work? No, no, it does not work. Okay, this is this the weird weird blur line. I think this works though. Kind of. Okay, sure. We'll we'll go with this. Okay, that is the thumbnail, I guess. And now to just color this very roughly. Poor spiders. You mean poor me. You should have seen the spiders on these stages. It was a lot of spiders. Do you guys like spiders? I don't like seeing spiders like in real life, but I'm okay with seeing spiders in videos. Spiders are cute. Like when I'm looking at them through a screen, but like in real life, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Are you guys good with spiders, or do you just outright, you know, run away, scream, try to get rid of them as soon as possible? You know, when you have a horde of spiders, not even a single lapline can save you. <laughs> not even a single one. I like the effect they have for dealing with pests, but they have have that get away, get away, get away effect on me. <laughs> Same here! Like, they're nice, they're just eating like bugs and whatnot, and whatnot in your in your poem. But like, seeing them is just like, I know you're here to eat a buffet, but ca can you do it without me seeing you? <laughs> it just triggers my like, fight or flight instincts. But like, for me, I fight and flight at the same time. So like, I just come up with ways, I grab the nearest like object and just like, you know, just chuck it at it and hope for the best. And if it doesn't work, well, yeah, things happen. <laughs> More of a tarantula kind of guy. Tarantula guy? I mean, tarantulas are, are spiders too, right? Sort of? They're kind of furry. They're kind of cute when, when you're looking at them through, at, through a screen. Like, not in real life! <laughs> <laughs> if they're not like physically in front of me, I'm okay. Yeah, I used to be like in the space where I watched like what was it? What was that channel that had like a bunch of spiders for pets or like a collection? It's like this guy with a di distinct voice. I forgot. I don't know. Cool guy though. Small spiders are fine, but if they are almost as big as my hand, I'll either be afraid or want to kill. 
I love seeing people care for spiders and scorpions, snakes, etc. Though, just as long as I'm not the one interacting with them. Same here, right? Snakes are cute. I really like snakes. It's just like spiders. Like I wouldn't run for from a snake unless unless it's poisonous and it's like a rattlesnake or something like that. Um, then then maybe not. But I would love to hold a snake one day. I don't want to imagine Australian spiders being in my home though. Oh man, yeah, Australia. They're famous for like spiders in their home, like where whenever and wherever. They just they just rock up into their house and be like, I'm taking over because there's food here. <laughs> like what was it? Huntsman spider, right? Dude, I would be terrified. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Y'all don't do the little paper paper cup trick. Oh, I, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, do they carry you? What sort of spider? Like like tarantula? I feel like a lot of people like have pet tarantulas. Like I don't know about other spiders as pets. But I've mainly been seeing tarantulas as pets, right? One time a big one went under my bed. I turned my bed upside down and screamed. Oh no. You know, only once in my life that I've seen like a really big spider, like maybe like the body was kind of like, how should I say it? It was fairly big, but the legs kind of extended to like maybe the length of my hand. And I'm like, where did you come from? I screamed so loud and I was like, I couldn't get out of my room to like get something to deal with it. So I was just on my bed, and I'm just like, what do I do? <laughs> Snakes are like smooth, aren't they? Yeah, if it's like a big spider, it's over. It's over, it's actually over. Have you guys ever heard of the game Kill It With Fire? <laughs> What's that game? Is it like a, sp a spider killing simulation game or something like that? Tarantulas don't bite, so yeah. Ah, well, I guess... Well, except for snakes, I guess. Tarantulas, they're pretty chill, aren't they? They, they don't bite unless they're like super aggressive or they feel threatened. Or so the comments say in, in the videos I've seen. Right? I said I wouldn't shade this, but look at me now. Ho 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 ho. See how you guys react with spiders is how I feel about rats and stuff. Oh yeah. Rats and rats and mice. If they're small and they run around, it kind of freaks me out. You know, if it, especially when it runs towards you. <laughs> I just scream. I can't handle it. Spider crawled on my face before I'm napping. Oh no. Wait, I think I've had that before too. Or like I was on my phone reading novels and then from, from the corner of my eye, like I was in bed and like the, the blankets were on me and I was just like having the phone above my head. So I was like just reading novels and then I see something moving from the corner of my eye, like on the um, edge of the blanket. I'm like, what is that? And then I just like um, shuffled the blanket around and then I'm like, wait, it's still there. So I shine the flashlight at it. And lo and behold, there was a spider just crawling on my blanket, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I just smacked it. Like, right there and then, instinctively, I was like, oh no, oh my gosh, not like this. But yeah, not fun. <laughs> oh, good night, LP. Thanks for the story. Snakes are scary for me. I almost held one uh, when doing laundry because I thought it was oh, oh no. I mean, at least it didn't bite you. Oh man. Hello, Leah. A large spider or like a finger sized one? Um, I think it was like a. Maybe a penny sized one. Yeah. E even if it's that small. Because like. The room was dark. I only had my phone as like a source of light. So I just panicked and just like whacked at it. But yeah, spiders scare me. They really do. Oh, 
also. How'd you color this? It's alright. Doesn't matter. But yeah, that, that's my experience with spiders and my opinion on them. Kind of like, they, they cute, but also scary. Yeah, in terms of pets, I think I would be okay with having a pet snake, but not not like a pet spider. That's that's a bit too hardcore for me. <laughs> Wasps are scary. They don't they don't benefit anyone at all. <laughs> have you guys ever had to deal with like a wasp nest? Because I have. Like once upon a time, I think it was when I was younger. It was basically like, um, what? Out of the blue, one day, some wasp nest was like, developing, like, off the side of, like, um, my family's garage. And then I was like, oh no, that's a wasp nest. That's definitely not a bee's nest, because a bee's nest looks very different from it, right? And then, and then my, um, oh, was it, was it my grandma? Or was it my grandpa? So. I told them, and they were like, oh, it's fine. Just light it up on fire. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, wait, that's not safe. And they're like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. So they do that. They, they get a match or a lighter, and they just light the thing. And I'm like, oh, no. I don't think that's the way to do it. So then that happened, and then I think, I think the wasps got to go crazy. But luckily, no one got stung. Because we all stayed far away from it, but luck luckily it did um, the fire didn't spread, like, the wasp nest just dropped on the ground. And yeah, that was history for it. To be honest, I don't know what I would do, like, right now, if I did find a wasp nest, like, where I lived. But I, I think I would have to, like, double up on, like, clothes and whatnot because I don't have proper protection. <laughs> But yeah, wasps are scary. Have you seen those like wasp nest removal videos? I have. And it's crazy how like big the nests can grow. Like how did it get to that point? And then you realize like, oh no. Oh yeah, it's like wasp and hornet nests. Hornets are scary. Did you guys know that? <laughs> yeah, it was like a Pokemon battle for real. <laughs> Apparently the best way to deal with wasps is a gasoline in a cup. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. That works wonders, apparently. But then that only works if like the nest is fairly small, right? And then you can like shove the cup bit on it. But then if the nest is like super big, then um, yeah. Th then you'll have to find a way to um, chuck everything in, right? But then some people have to use a vacuum to suck it all up, right? And that works. But I, I do not have a vacuum for that, and I don't think I would use a vacuum for that also. Also, you'll have to make sure you seal the cup because if the wasp corner survives, it'll recognize you and go after you. <laughs> right, that happens! Oh no! My YouTube shorts only show me bee honey harvesting. That's good for you then, Grizzly! That's wholesome stuff! But yeah, hornets. I mean, I don't think I've seen a hornet. Or I don't think I can identify between a hornet and a wasp, like, at a glance. Like, I can, I can tell a honeybee from a wasp from at a glance. And my goodness, the amount of wasps I see every, every like, spring, summer. And it's scary to go past them, too. I just flinch whenever I pass by. And it's like, God, please don't chase after me. No, then again, I kind of flinch when honeybee honeybees or like regular bees just fly around me as well. Like, why why are you buzzing around me? I don't like the noise of buzzing. Do you guys like the noise of buzzing, buzzing bees and whatnot, and even flies? I flinch. I flinch at that. My thoughts on sea bunnies. Wait, what are sea bunnies? What are sea bunnies? Let me Google it up. Also, distractions. I need to finish the thumbnail. Oh, sea bunnies! Oh, those are so cute! 
Wait, are they just mollusks? They look like mollusks. Oh yeah, they are. Phylum, mollusca. They're so cute, but I bet they're... They might be poisonous, I don't know. We can appreciate bees exist, but a screw of wasps. True, true. Just any random bug flying past, oh yeah. Oh, speaking of random bug flying past, man. Have you ever had an instance where like either a bee or a fly just flew at your face? Because that happened to me. And like, even to this day, <laughs> the damage that occurred because of that is, is still on my glasses. So basically what happened was I was just walking home and then all of a sudden a fly or something just flew into my face. Like right dead center between like uh, my eyes and then my glasses. And instinctively I just slapped my face <laughs> or where the bug like bumped into me or like slammed into my face. And in, in doing so, I slapped my glasses off my face onto the ground pretty hard, too. So, um, it chipped my frames. No, it chipped my lenses. So in the corner of my glasses, there's like this small little chip that I can always see from the corner of my vision. <laughs> it's been a few, it's been like a year or two already, but I mean, at least the whole entire lens isn't broken. I haven't gone to the eye doctor in a long time. I really should because I need to get it checked because it's been a few years now. And maybe it's about time I change my glasses and frames. Time for an update. <laughs> like no one really notices the chip but me. But like when I point it out people are like oh it's there. Seagulls fly at your face? I mean, I've been attacked by a crow before, but not seagulls. Seagulls that know how to steal food from humans are actually scary because they, they're they probably super aggressive, right? Have you seen the videos? I've seen the videos and it's like, wow, they know how to do that? It's impressive too. Oh no, stung on the neck. No, say what now? Oh, hello, Dimitra, how are you? Here in Texas, mosquitoes is our hellish curse. Oh no, mosquitoes. Oh, I hate mosquitoes. I mean, not that I encounter too many mosquitoes because I never go near any body of water. But um, when I was little, like when I went to on a trip to um, China with my family, and like there were so many mosquitoes there. I was bitten everywhere, my legs, my arms. I was basically like, super sad and my arms and legs were just itchy and i did not have a good time <laughs> what was it about mosquitoes it's something about like um what was it like carbon levels or was it like whatever your body produced sweat that determined whether like the mosquito would be more attracted to you and, and would be more would be more likely to suck your blood that sort of thing <laughs> Oh no, Demikra. <laughs> Seagulls. <laughs> but yeah. Never had a seagull attack me, but I've had a crow attack me once. Once in my lifetime. It was basically them dive bombing my head and until I like walked away and then they stopped. But yeah. Crows are scary. So any sort of bird that just dive bombs you, for whatever reason, kinda scary. Be careful guys. Watch your heads. When you're like below a nest. Okay, much distraction. I should really get coloring now. Blood type also plays a part in mosquitoes targeting you. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that. You guys know your blood type? I'm like, for the longest time in my life, I don't know what my blood type is. I feel like I've seen it once on some blood report, but I probably forgot about it. So I genuinely don't know what my blood type is. <laughs> Like, is it normal to know your blood type? Because some people can just straight up be like, oh, my blood type is so-and-so. <laughs> I 
You gotta think of ways to get rid of mosquitoes or avoid them outright. So I think it's like, try not to go near bodies of water, don't leave still water in any like, um, container or whatnot, or else like, you know, mosquitoes will start like, reproducing there I think, right? Because mosquitoes start off as like, larvae in water and then, and then they transition into like, the adult phase where they grow wings and then they don't have to be in water and then they go off like, sucking blood from like, animals and then also humans. Well, only female mosquitoes, like, suck blood, right? Yeah, the males are harmless. <laughs> it's only the females! Oh, hello, Weiss. Uh, so sorry that I had to stumble into this, like, weird conversation that we're having, but yeah, we're having a good time right now. Mosquitoes and e every animal that's kind of- that kind of wants to attack us, basically. <laughs> blood work reason still don't know. <laughs> oh, no. It's alright. That's a whole mood. Hmm. Oh man, swarms of mosquitoes? Oh yikes, sounds scary. I mean, they don't chase after you. It's not like one of those like um, angry bee or wasp swarms that just swarm people in movies and whatnot, right? That's <laughs> the wife you enjoy her. Yeah, still water, right? Okay, so I so I wasn't so I wasn't incorrect. Right, right, right. I know my things. But yeah, mosquitoes. I, I think this world would be great if there were no mosquitoes at all. They don't really benefit us, do they? What what other animals are just menaces to to humanity? <laughs> Cockroach? Oh right, cockroaches are annoying, aren't they? I mean, I would assume so. I've never seen a live cockroach in my life before. So that's that's pretty good on me. But have you guys seen cockroaches? I know cockroaches can be like super big. They can grow to be super big, right? And they can also fly too. Right. No, actually, no, 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 scratch that. I have seen a live cockroach before, but that was out of the zoo. Yeah, that was at a zoo. They had they had this like cockroach sex section where where they had like different species of cockroaches. I don't really remember much, but I why I feel like I vividly remember that one part of the zoo, and that's it. They just had like a small little sex section just for them. <laughs> They're common where I live. Ah. Uh... Oh, you started IS three. How's IS three? Isn't it fun? The big ones are just easier target. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. And would the small ones be harder to target? Because they- may maybe they're faster too. Who would intentionally keep cockroaches? <laughs> Um, zoos maybe? And I guess maybe, um, people who have pet lizards, spiders, and whatnot because you can feed cockroaches and whatnot to them, right? You know, if your house is, like, infested with cockroaches and whatnot, I think you'll have an endless supply for your, um, lizards and lizards and whatnot. <laughs> but I think that'd be kind of gross! I, I think you need to get an exterminator at that point! Oh no. You know, eventually, Weiss, eventually, you'll you'll get all the uh, upgrades and then you'll be able to smoothly sail your way through IS-3. Well, maybe not smoothly once you get to surging waves, but, you know, have fun! <laughs> if a cockroach starts flying, do you try to kill it or do you run away in fear? I think I would run away. I would definitely run away in fear. Oh yeah, some some people have pet cockroaches. The, the giant hissing cockroach. Okay, you know what? I will admit, pet videos are cute when I'm watching them, but I don't think I would be able to handle like a real life cockroach if, if someone had like a pet cockroach. Maybe I'd be like, uh, 
staying like 10 feet away from it. And I will say, Weiss, ending one is probably the easiest ending to, to deal with. I don't, I personally do not like ending two, three, and four. <laughs> Ending 4 is a pain, but good luck when you get there. You're in for a ride. I still dream of having either a lizard or a snake as a pet. You know, lately I've been seeing a lot of like gecko videos being recommended on my YouTube feed. Geckos are cute. Like actually so cute. I don't know, they're beady little eyes and they're so small. It was like this Japanese YouTuber who, who had like a few pet geckos and they were like shedding their skin and they were like trying their best to shed their skin but they were kind of just struggling and the dude's like do your best and I kind of still had to help out I thought that was cute imagine you're just chilling with your pet cockroach and you ignore slash forget to beat it and it starts pissing at you I mean, I don't know if, like, pet cockroaches can be that affectionate and, like, reciprocate, like, affection like that. Like, other pets like dogs, cats, and whatnot. Maybe they can. The only cockroach that's cute is the one from Wally. -E. Wait, what, what was that one? Wally -E was... Oh, shoot, I completely forgot. What's Wally? -E? It was that robot movie, right? Okay, yeah, it was. Okay, I have not seen Wally, -E, but I do know of the movie. <laughs> Good luck, Demikra. Good luck. You'll need it. Is it a cute movie? I don't really watch Disney movies all that much. It's a Disney movie, right? I just saw it on Google. You know, I'm not gonna make any promises about watching Wally -E because I know for a fact if I do say I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna put it off like forever. <laughs> Nice to hear that you guys like the movie though. They kissed? What? There's romance in the movie? Maybe if someone drags me to watch a Disney movie or like do a marathon of watching Disney movies, then sure. Robomats? <laughs> Wait, there's multiple robots in the movie? Interesting. Good evening, Smith. How are ya? Man, the topic of chat just keeps on jumping like from from every single genre here. Interesting. Very interesting. From from weird insect animals, pets, and now we're talking about robot movies, ro robo mans. Oh yeah, I'm working on a thumbnail for up for an upcoming video. Well, it's like a continuation for um, T-1-2. This is for T-3 and 4, which um, I do have the video recorded, so this is just a th quick little thumbnail. <laughs> mosquitoes didn't exist in Wally, so Disney proved mosquitoes need <laughs> Wait, is there a movie for mosquitoes that Disney made? Oh, you're working on T-3? Good luck, good luck. 
it's not too bad. Was it T-3 or was it T-4 that had um, the horde of creepy crawlies that exploded? I think it was T-4. Sorry, spoilers. But uh, yeah, T-3 wasn't too bad. Actually, I don't even think I cleared it all. I kind of gave up at some point because I was like, all the rewards afterwards were just LMD. And I'm like, do I really want to do this? <laughs> Do I really want the extra LMD? 5k LMD? Probably not. So, yeah. I gave up at some point in the video. Just a little spoiler for you guys. Is T3 difficult? Oh yeah, it was difficult. I didn't even clear like all three waves. I was so close though. And then I gave up. But then I finished T-4. T-4 was... Easier than T-3, actually, I will say. I don't know why. <laughs> oh no, did you try using a guide, Demikra? Man, you know earlier I was trying to help Uriel with S3 because she was struggling? I don't know if some of you guys are in her Discord, but like, you can see her Discord um, status and she's like, suffering in S3 and I'm like, man, maybe I'll try helping her. I did? I got pretty far with the team that she could probably use because I'll just say her her roster of Arc Knights operators is pretty limited because she only came back during the Rathalos um, event, the Monster Hunter collab, be because I kind of tempted her to. So she missed out on all the limited operators in the past. So she doesn't have like Texas Altar, Skalter. Read Alter, and like all the, a lot, and a lot of units that a lot of guides used for all the S 3 guides. So I was trying to work my way around it, like finding operator replacements. I got pretty far. I beat the boss up until like phase two, but then that's where everything like went downhill because the dude just exploded everything. <laughs> because you go, you can only bring one support. <laughs> And like, Uriel doesn't have Texas Alter or Reed Alter, so so that strategy of using those two don't work. Oh, and Su and Suzerain as well. <laughs> yeah, but DOS is definitely not a um, new player friendly event. It's definitely endgame content for people who, who's been playing for like a very long time. <laughs> but again, S3 is optional. You do not need to do it. If you're just aiming for the skin, don't, don't even bother with it, I guess. She does not have palace, no. You finished T3 working on A3? How's A3? A3 was pretty rough too. I had to use a guide because I just gave up on, on my own strategy. That would have worked. <laughs> but I was like getting impatient because two hours was already into stream. S3 is just a straight and hard roster check to be fair. It really is. Because when I was trying to come up with a team composition for um, Uriel, like trying to see what operators that she had and what she could potentially borrow. Like a lot of the guides use um, Suzerain, Uncle, and Reed Alter. And obviously Kyobi. And Texas Alter too. So like those are kind of like the main operators to use essentially. Which um, Uriel didn't have like three of them. <laughs> But it's okay, it's okay, um, maybe she'll be able to beat it, like, last minute before the event ends. You know, believe- believe in the angel. Believe in the angel, guys. Maybe she'll be able to do it. I'm still gonna try to take a stab at it and try to help my homie out, like I always do. Like, I feel like I need to change up a few things. And then maybe- it's like, the only problem I have is, like, surviving the- second phase where the dude explodes at like 50% and starts shooting out fireballs. That's what gets me. Like I'm s I, I would be like super close to beating it but then it's always at the 50% mark where he just outright obliterates my team. <laughs> so I'm just like man! 
I'm so close yet so far. But yeah, S-3, that's just, just a little PSA, guys. You, you do not need to do it <laughs> just to get the cardigan skin. I think you can just do the T stages and get all the EXP from there to get uh, the cardigan skin. Actually, just use like, just do like S1 and 2 and maybe you'll get enough to reach level 35. It's okay, it's just a short event. I've been using the classics shorts Chen and Exu. Mmm, are they working out for you, Smith? Hello, Zexu. And Miss 15k LMD? Preposterous! <laughs> you know, you can spend like, um, what was it? H how much is it for like CE6? It's like 36 sanity, right? And then you get 10k. <laughs> so you can spend like, what? What's 36 times 2? That's like 72 sanity? And like completing two stages, you can get 20k LMD. That's more, more than the 15k. You can spend your sanity there. I think it's more efficient to to spend it there. Also, my sanity is still at like 700 something. I have not touched it since stream ended. By the way, uh, just letting you know. I always find it so funny that like new people watching my channel are just like, "Why is your sanity so high? Are you memeing? Are you okay?" And I'm like. Yeah, it's normal. It's just my Sunday pool of sanity that I just used all at once. <laughs> like, I just let it sit there. I'm too lazy to spend it unless I really need to. <laughs> the only game we're having a lot of sanity is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> It makes people question you, that's for sure. Ah, uh, yeah, FOMO. FOMO is real in Arknights. Like, for me, I'm not too worried about FOMO in terms of, like, getting operators because I know who I want. I know who to skip, who I want to skip. But for events, I just want to complete it. I just want all the event medals. I want to clear it but then the only event that I'm willing that I'm willingly uh, willing to skip out on is like the um, reclamation algorithm the base building game <laughs> that's the only metal set that I have not completed because I didn't like that game mode all that much <laughs> but a lot of people seem to like it so I'm like okay fair enough But yeah, I just couldn't stand just spending like 30 minutes just doing one stage and then trying to figure things out. Yeah, that was not for me. I I, I like my fast-paced action game. Well, would you say Arknights is a fast-paced action game? <laughs> yeah, it was rough, wasn't it? Annihilation skip on dailies? Yeah, the proxy tickets were like godsend. You know, eventually, in a couple of months, right? We're gonna get like the um auto stage run thing, right? Where we don't have to um, play a stage one by one, where, where we can finally like click a stage and then we can run it like four times, that sort of thing. Does it only work on the main story or does it work on every single stage? I didn't really look into it too much, but I do know that feature exists in CN. Oh, okay, okay. So in, when Virtuoso drops. Alright, alright. Fair enough. I'm assuming it's right after, um, maybe a couple weeks, maybe three weeks after the main episode drops. That's when, that's when I'm assuming the Virtuoso event is gonna drop for us. I could be wrong. But is everyone excited? Oh wait, no, there's Hoder's event too, right? That and then Virtuosa. That's the order of events that happened at CN. So maybe, maybe not in a month. I'm gonna guess two months. Yeah, if we go by CN schedule, unless they switch things around so we get Virtuosa first and then Hoder, but then that would mean we would get Dejan Breaker kind of late. 
<laughs> oh, we're already get getting the Il Sir Casano rerun? Oh, dang, it's been... Wow, it's been like... Months since the first time it dropped. Wow, amazing. <laughs> time flies, doesn't it? So are we getting it May then? Oh wait, no, or, or is that one the Dungeon Breaker one? I, I can't read German. It works all stage stories, chips, uh, red certs. I love using it. Oh, does it, Curio? Great, great, great. Oh, it's been almost a year, has it? Damn. <laughs> well, I didn't, well, I didn't realize. It only felt like a few months ago. Or maybe I'm just tripping. I'm crazy. Actually crazy. Well, I guess we'll look forward to that. Yay, more operators! I'm definitely pulling for Virtuosa and my wife, wife Viviana. Um, I think a lot of people are pulling, right? For the most part. You know, maybe this will be the banner where EN will have like a huge amount of sales and then maybe we'll get rewarded with like a free 10 pull ticket like like what the JP server always gets every single big event, right? We can only believe, guys, right? Oh, Hodor is next week, actually? Oh, I am pulling for Hodor though, so catch me on stream pulling for him when the event drops. Because I do want a copy of him. Actually, I think I saw Arknight's Twitter post new operator sprites and whatnot. Like, just advertising the new episode that's upcoming, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I might as well do an AK tidbit soon. Because I always do. I think there's a few other things that I want to talk about outside of Arknight's. Not outside of Arknight's, but like, I want to talk more about um, the Longman Dragons stuff. Are any of you, like, keeping up with the Longman Dragons, like, IS4 runs tournament thing? Like, I'm low-key following it, but also I'm not watching the streams because I don't have time to, but... Yeah, seems like it's ongoing. The finals aren't gonna be until... Who knows when, I don't know. <laughs> April 13th, it seems, I think. Yeah, April 13th is the day of the finals. All right, take care, X. Sleep well, hope your elbow feels better. I have, but only for the codes. Oh yeah, the codes. I didn't really like make an AK tidbits about it because the codes were limited. So by the time the video would be out, I feel like the codes would be all used up. I didn't even bother using the codes for myself because I'm like, do I want some, do I just want extra sanity potions? Meanwhile, my sanity is like nearly at 900. <laughs> so I'm like, what's the point of me getting it, right? But yeah, they had like limited codes for um, Longman Dragons or the during the live streams, I believe. But they were only limited uses, so like maybe 150 or something uses for each code, which was interesting. <laughs> I mean, for, for people who always use their potions, their sanity pods, um, great, good for you guys. But for me, I'm like, I have an excessive amount in my inventory every single week. And then at the end of Sunday, like all of them are just expiring and I have like seven of the 60 or 80 ones. And then like maybe two or three of the 100 ones. And I'm just like, man, how do I use it all up? <laughs> That's just me. You know, it's okay. I'm spending way too much time on the thumbnail. Guys, stop distracting me. I'm distracting myself. Oh, do you, Weiss? <laughs> but you don't use it? Okay, and then I'll do a bit of highlights, and then I'll just call it a day. Oh wait, there's some explosions in the background that I for kind of forgot to... Oh jeez, okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll, I'll work on that later.
What color are explosions? I don't know. Are they red? Or are they orange? I think they're red. In my mind, they're red. But then I'm like, an explosion cloud is kind of fiery orange, isn't it? Do I want to look for a reference? Not really. Let's make it, like, orange instead. Pretend these explosions are orange. In my world, they are orange. Explosions are orange. Oh, you're saving them to farm. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. this roughly and then color this one okay I'm not even coloring in between the lines it's okay like you guys get the gist of what the heck is going on oh right new UI I think I've seen that one the really sleek looking one that that's kind of um how do I describe it it's a bit more boxy, I think, and cleaner. I use all my potions on LS and CE. Good, as you should. Don't be like me and let all your sanity just pull up in your um, account and never use them until the end of the week. And then you, you repeat the cycle again and you're just like, oh god, why? Okay, now this just looks like flames and fire, but that's fine. Does it look like explosions, guys? I don't think so. And then I'll just color in the spiders. Thirty-six is satisfying, but it's also the fastest way to get rid of your sanity too. <laughs> Aside from Annihilation, but there's only so many times that you can use Annihilation, like what? Is it like five times? You get the full reward? Like 1.8k? Because it's like 25 per, per run. But yeah, I barely farm like LS or CE. The only thing I farm is like the red certificates because I'm always like out of catalyst chips. Like, LMD? What's that? Oh wait, or is CE the one with like red vouchers? I completely forgot the stage names. Explosions look more like a fiery cloud. Oh. Oh well, it's okay. Everything can just be on fire because of these spiders. I tried. I don't want to look up explosion references. Not like this. Not tonight. I don't feel like it. I don't want to. Cooking spiders? <laughs> Cooking in the kitchen gone wrong with, with doctor here. There we go. Oh wait, I forgot these legs. Hmm. Well, I usually try farming event, event materials. Or like materials from events stages. If like, uh, the drop rates are good. I usually go into the Arknights Discord and just search around and see what people say, whether it's like, good or not. <laughs> Catalyst chips are expensive, yeah, once you add it all up, but 20 is a lot. You're you're set there, Smith, to like E2 people. Okay, guys, who here has bought out all the free operators with red certificates? So like, um, what was it? Breeze, there's that um, caster whose name I can't pronounce but starts with a Q. Um, there's Quartz, those three. And then I think there's like a few more in there too, but I kind of forgot because I probably just bought them all out. Ethan, maybe? I think it was Ethan. 
like I haven't. 600 per token is expensive, guys. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> oh wow, 8 million LMD? And thousands of EXP cards? I have a lot of EXP cards, but like, I always hover between like, 4 million and 2 million L LMD. But it still like, keeps me, keeps my account okay. For, because I don't really eat to that many operators all at once. Oh, you bought everything, Smith. Wow. Impressive. Okay, and then color in the red spiders like this. Can you guys recognize it's the red spiders? from the game i hope i hope you guys can like look at this fantastic artwork that you're seeing live on stream right now mm, going for the six star tokens for my limited ops oh Wait, like, um, from, from which, which shop? The red certificate? Wait, does the red certificate shop have, like, royal tokens? Or are you talking about the yellow certificate? I don't remember if, like, the red certificate shop has, like, royal, royal tokens in it, but also, royal tokens are expensive when you're using yellow certificates. I only use my yellow certificates for, like, the headhunting tickets. Flashbacks to when you had no lappy. Oh no. Oh nice, you pre-farmed everything. Okay, pe speaking of pre-farming, I don't think I pre-farmed for Virtuosa. Like, in terms of her material. I'm pretty sure I have enough material sitting around in my inventory. But like, I haven't really like converted them to like the higher tier material, so I'll probably have to do that. And also convert some chips uh, in my base. So yeah. Okay, there we go. I, th I think I'm done with this. Oh wait, there's one more spider with, with no red on it. Patchy spider, patchy. Looks like a ladybug. <laughs> there we go. Yay, I'm done! And then I just do this. And then do that. And then throw throw a caption on, I guess. P dash three and E dash four. Actually I'm just gonna write this in the title of the video actually. Yeah, no need for captions. Maybe I'll just do like that. This is how I make thumbnails, guys. Pretty simple. I want to make fancy thumbnails too in the future, but I don't know how to. I can only make funny thumbnails like this and memey ones. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait a second. I have like a text that might look nice here. Or, or a screaming one? I don't know. Is that this one? Yokozura? No, not that. Wait, let me just double check real quick. I think it's this one. Like a screaming looking font. Is it this one? Or is this just nice looking? Oh, it's just nice looking font. Never mind. Ignore me. I don't have a screaming font. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay, thumbnail done! Woohoo! Progress within like an hour. EOS T3 and T4. And you'll find this video up by, who knows, maybe tonight? Not tonight, sorry. Tomorrow night. I want to spread out my video uploads. Here we go. Alright, later, say what now?
Okay, let's close this and let's start drawing something else. Maybe we can do a bit of an art study thing. I don't really try drawing in this style. But I'm not too sure if I can replicate it that well. So we'll just use my own character as like... For experimentation. Did the thumbnail take 20 minutes? I don't think it took 20 minutes. It took a while. I started stream like... An hour ago, right? <laughs> it's been a long time now, guys! Okay, what should we draw? I want to draw something cute! My art style is pretty inconsistent, so... I don't know. I'm trying to like break out into a new style, but haven't really been drawing... Too much lately, so I haven't been hyper-focused on anything. So maybe now's the time. Now's the time to hyper-focus on drawing something. My own character, maybe, in cute outfits. This is why Yuril doesn't do art streams according to her. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? You know, I kind of wish Yuriel did more art streams. I love her drawings. It's so cute. I'm not ditching you guys. What are you talking about, Magical? Oh, okay. Oh, you're counting the time that I, I drew and instead of chatting. Okay. Okay, maybe if I'm not chatting with you guys and I'm focused, yeah, that w probably would have been like 20 minutes or 30 minutes. <laughs> I get distracted by you guys. Oh, distracted by chat? Uh, well, I mean, that's 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 what you sign up for when you draw and stream, right? All right, take care, Smith. Good luck. You can beat it. A3. Mm, oh, maybe, maybe. That's so true, magical, but I don't do that. <laughs> Posture check, thank you. Oh yeah, might, might as well do hydration check. I have my water beside me. You know, I'm surprised like a, a lot of you showed up to watch me draw and then we just chatted. It's fine. All, all funs and giggles. Straighten your backs. Drink some water. Your liver needs it. Or is it your liver that needs water? No, your entire body needs water. You're gonna be dehydrated if you don't drink water or anything liquid. <laughs> Thank you for the support! Oh yeah, um... You know, you know how I've been doing like afternoon streams as of lately, I was kind of like seeing how many of you guys would appear. And so far, some, uh, quite, quite a lot of you actually, but not as much as like evening, I feel. Sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's just like, yeah, the numbers just fluctuate. Or maybe it just depends on the day. Though then again, today is a Tuesday and I did stream on like a Tuesday afternoon. So maybe people were just busy. Most likely, but yeah. I'll probably do streams in the evenings for the most part, and then every now and then, if I feel like it, afternoon, for the people who can make afternoon streams. I didn't realize that so many of you just watch me in the evenings specifically. How odd, how odd. And then I don't know how many of you are like EU or like, um, the times are good for you if I stream in the afternoon. Yeah, maybe just gorilla stream. I remember one once upon a time I streamed at like 9 a.m. PST and people actually showed up and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and never again did I do a stream at like 9 a.m. because I had to like wake up for that. Maybe one day I'll surprise you all. Yeah, it's like nighttime right now, nearly 12 a.m. <laughs> Hey, what am I drawing? Why am I drawing a turtleneck already? Oh no. I wanted to draw something cute! Not like this! 
I have a thing for turtlenecks, guys. I think it's because, like, drawing fantasy characters, I'm just so used to drawing turtlenecks just to hide the neck and everything else. <laughs> it's so easy to draw. <laughs> Like, turtleneck sweaters are kind of cute to draw. Did you guys know that? Oh, look, Uriel's a rough stream as when her family gets home. I mean, she, she can't really stream when her family is home, so... I don't think I've ever, like, abruptly stopped stream, have I? I mean, if I do, I think I did once upon a time, just to ditch you guys for, like, Uriel and Kiriko, I think. Yeah, there was that one time, I remember. This is a no see. Oh no, I'm just drawing my own character. Like, it's easier to just draw my own character instead of just, like, thinking about who to draw. So, like, why not just draw myself? It makes things easier for myself, yeah? How do people draw, like, crossed arms? I still struggle to draw crossed arm characters. But they look so nice! I need more practice. Maybe I'll clean the sketch up a bit if I do end up liking it, but for the most part, yeah. I just draw, like, the base here like that and then the fingies are like like this I think <laughs> magical <laughs> cute orc wife in a turtleneck are, are you talking about um, the one girl from BG3 excuse me you do those mysterious BRB guys this is an important thing happened I'm not gonna tell you yeah I, I do that a lot but at least I don't end stream <laughs> yeah, I prefer to keep my personal life separate from screaming and all that stuff. Like, I'd maybe occasionally tell you guys a bit of something, maybe what I eat, and that's about it. But nothing else. I like to keep my life a bit of a secret. Must be the raccoons. Yes, the raccoons. You know, the other night I thought I saw the raccoons again, but I think it was something else. You know those, like, sweaters that has the, these, like, squiggly line designs? Like, I don't know how to draw them properly. It looks like seaweed. <laughs> if I draw them like this. <gasps> it's a quick way to draw. This is just Yuko in her, like, winter winter turtleneck outfit so then again i do like wearing turtlenecks i should buy another turtleneck out like top i haven't been buying many lately i've been buying a lot of cardigans though i should stop no i don't hate you guys what do you mean what are these what, what is the slander? Accusations. Yeah, I don't know what expression I should do. Or maybe I'll just end up drawing an entirely different character. Give myself a new hairstyle. Let's do that. Erase this part and then do this so it's easier to see. You know, if I were to give myself a new hairstyle, what would it be? I feel like I would just like part my hair in a different way because there's only so many hairstyles that I kind of prefer. Like obviously my favorite sort of like hairstyle to draw is like the usual hairstyle that's kind of like this. But then I do like the hairstyles where like your character has like 
the part like on one side and then they have like this thing going on you know what I mean and then it's just like that I feel like I've drawn an OC with this sort of hairstyle before <laughs> but it's so nice and fancy I like it Yeah, this isn't me anymore, unless I color it the same color. Maybe it is me. Maybe it's a different hairstyle. If you don't hate us, draw a cookie. Oh, um, here you go. Here's a cookie for you guys. Looks like, looks like one of those rice crackers with like holes in it or like those cheese crackers those Ritz it? Ritz? Is it Ritz? I think it's Ritz, right? You know those cheese 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 cracker things with like holes in them Have a pizza instead because it, it's more identifiable than, than that thing there There we go I call that the McDo hair hairstyle with how it forms the M and arches. <laughs> oh, fa okay, that that makes sense. Yeah. Speaking of OCs, there's this Twitter artist that has super cool art prints, Doctor OC, and I'm obsessed with him. It's so cool. I think I know. It, there's only a few artists out there that draws art knights, Doctor OCs. So I feel like I might know who you're talking about. Is it the guy with the paintery style? That occasionally draws like um their male Arknights doctor with um other female operators or something. I think they like shipping themselves with um whole hayak or something like that. I don't know. It's a Japanese artist, right? <laughs> it's like my man doesn't post any hashtags on it. Yeah, Ram! <laughs> their art is so good. I love it. Yeah, I knew it. The moment you said that Dr. O.C. and then him, I'm like, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> right? Dude, buff doctor, sign me up. You know, if I end up liking this hairstyle, maybe I'll just tell Uriel to, to do this for my model. <laughs> I didn't really change my hairstyle all too much in my model sketch. I kind of prefer my characters with like short, shorter hair. Wait, no. Sorry, not shorter hair. Longer hair. I'm getting mixed up. I'm like looking at this, I'm like, I'm drawing short hair. Wait, no, I like longer hair better. You know, this looks like a generic, like, anime character with this sort of hairstyle. It's nothing special. <laughs> it's not me anymore! I'm pretty sure someone out there has this hairstyle, some anime character. Who does this remind me of? It reminds me of someone. I don't know who. Erase this part. And then erase this as well. Draw some crystals on the head, make it blue, boom, Yuko. <laughs> That's the only iconic feature of myself, the crystals on the head. That's it. That looks like someone from Drama Web Romance Web 2. <laughs> Oh man, maybe, probably it does. I 
Oh yeah, speaking of Webtoon, oh my gosh. Apparently there's some like recent drama with Webtoon uh, that kind of like sparked on Twitter. I don't know if you've guys seen it or if you guys use Twitter, but... Okay, TLDR, basically um, some person or artist, I guess, came out saying that the contract for Webtoon Originals is like horrendous, like really bad. Just outright thievery like theft not theft but like essentially what it is like um you're basically signing away your work the the ip rights of your work to um webtoon originals so like they can buy your ip for digital publishing rights like basically for free or like at a super low cost when you could just like publish it on your own for like four to five figures And they were saying like they, they they're kind of in the space of like the publishing space and they kind of know like for that that the contract is kind of like messed up like it, it's only in the new recent contracts that they've been giving out but like in the old contracts for other artists um they didn't have that clause or anything like that so those artists are kind of safe but it's still kind of a scummy move to do yeah so the only upside is exposure So that kind of blew up on my timeline, and I was like, yikes! <laughs> Looks like she's waiting for the wine she ordered. Oh no, fancy wine. I don't drink wine. I don't- I don't like drinking wine, guys. It tastes funny. Oh yeah, you know those, like, art sketches? Um, that artists do? Where they have, like, a lot of lines for the- like, the hair? I kind of want- do that, which is what I'm doing right now. It looks nice, doesn't it? It's a bit more like volume to the hair, but also it feels a bit more messy, doesn't it? Well, maybe I'll just like change this a bit. Okay, where's this line? Seven. Yeah, so be sure to read any contract that you're about to sign, guys, or, or my, it might screw you over. <laughs> That's some life advice right there. <laughs> Unless you get a lawyer to read it over for you and then, like, tell you the, uh, good and bad stuff about it, then yeah, that's, that's another way. But, you know, get it checked! Oh, nice sound vibes. What vibe do I give, give now with the slime model? <laughs> I think I still give off the gremlin energy, don't I? Okay, now let's add the infamous crystals to this. So, so it, so it's me. So you guys know it's me. It's me, guys. It's me. It's not an imposter. Oh yeah, speaking of imposter, I saw this really cute but also funny photo of like um, the Among Us character, the Lethal Company character, and then this other new game uh, character. I think it was from... Um... Oh, what was that game called? Recently, it went viral. What? It's like... Um, let me just draw it out because I know how it looks like. So it's like this fish tank head. And then you have like the face on the side that's like this. And then the dude's kind of like, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, content warning. Yeah. So the character from content warning. But they're like sitting in like a family portrait style uh, image fan art. And I found it so funny because essentially all of those games are basically an amalgamation between like all three of them. Or I guess like Lethal Company and also like content warning. The one that you vlog? Uh, is it a blogging game? I don't know. Like, I've seen content warning clips, but I don't exactly know what it- what it is. <laughs> Hello, Ansu. How late? I mean, I might end stream in like 30 minutes. The usual time. But yeah, welcome. We are doodling right now. I haven't seen any content warning, well, except for the small clips, but I haven't seen, like, full-on gameplay, so I really don't know, like, 
what what the game is about or what you're supposed to do. You just like run around doing things, like in Lethal Company. I drew you guys cookies and pizza on the side, okay? What am I drawing? I'm just trying to draw... I don't know what I'm drawing. I'm drawing myself in like a different style. Or like trying to draw in a different style, but it looks like... But it does look like my usual style of drawing, so I think I failed on that part. Bummer. shift this over. Don't mind me, pretend I drew all of that. <laughs> I could have drawn myself in a different outfit, but like I do like my turtlenecks, so we'll be doing that. This is just a relaxation drawing. Nothing too serious, nothing too goofy, just something that I wanted to draw. Practice makes perfect. There we go. Is this the progress after one hour? No, I finished the thumbnail, okay? That was progress. This is something new. This is the second drawing that we, we've started on stream. <laughs> No! This isn't an edgy hairstyle, is it? It isn't! Even if it has one eye covered! You know, if I actually had a hairstyle on my model that had like one eye covered, it would save me so much time drawing like the other eye. <laughs> That's the secret to drawing. If you're too lazy to draw one eye, just cover it with hair. It'll be good. Oh, welcome, Al. How are you? Yukimo? No, not not Yukimo era. Era, not like this. No. You know, I feel like with this hairstyle, a different outfit would be would probably be more suited for this, huh? I don't know. Okay, you know, I know I'm just gonna get like my model from like Uriel with the new outfit, but I think eventually I'm just gonna draw myself in other outfits which I'll consider canon and people can just draw me in those outfits but like it'll be like a secret underground thing where people who want to draw me fan art will have to like dig through images on images just to find references of said outfits which I will occasionally draw maybe Okay, now that I drew, draw the drew the face, I'm just like, man, how do I draw the eyes and make it look nice? Okay, this is gonna be a while. Okay, I don't like how this looks like. I really don't. Maybe I'll just change the mouth. Maybe it's the mouth that's like throwing me off. Oh wait, I think this is fine. Oh, looks okay. I'm not too mad. Hold up, what sort of eye style do I want? Okay, I have a really bad syndrome of like drawing one eye perfectly and then the other eye is like super scuffed. Eye more? Oh, I like the sign more. Hold up. This one looks better. Wait, let's change let's change this one. Do this one. Maybe. Oh, I should enlarge it too. It looks a bit small. Hold up. Just move this here, resize, like that. Maybe 
maybe rotate it a bit. Like that. Do I like that? I don't know. Or do I like the previous eye? I like the previous eye more. <laughs> I look more relaxed with this sort of eye. And this one looks a bit more sharper. Different expressions. I'm trying to guess how your LTD uh, would look like with your previous streams. Mm, I mean, it's good. definitely a new outfit, you know? Yeah. I don't think I would commission another new outfit for the model, so the model is just going to be permanently stuck with one outfit, but you guys are free, free to draw me in other outfits that I deem canon. <laughs> Both eyes have the amount of same mouth scuff. Oh no. Mm, maybe I don't like this. Maybe deform a bit like that. I'm not too sure if I like that or not. Okay, I don't want to draw the other side. Can I flip this? Yeah, I guess I can. Looks a bit weird though. Okay, you know what? I'll just draw the other side. Yeah, I like this one more. More relaxed eye looking thing. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I don't like drawing the other eye. I really don't, but then I have to. How many outfits sketch you have? Yes, that's gonna be me, Al. I'm gonna have a bunch of sketches, but no full on like rendered outfit. <laughs> Heterochromia, more edgy? I don't think I would give myself those eyes. But then, okay, heterochromia eyes on anime characters are kind of cool, I will say. But I, I, I don't think I, I vibe with that sort of thing for my own character. Nuh uh. RGB eyes? <laughs> Mirror World, Yuko scares me. Yeah, could be scary. Okay, what is this? What layer is this? Oh, this layer. Okay, and then color this in and try to make it even if I can. It does not look the same. Wow. I hate this. Artist struggles. Okay, next drawing stream will definitely be like an art study stream because I want to practice drawing like hands maybe because I suck at drawing hands. And maybe we can like draw some muscles as well if we can. Like drawing, drawing basic hands is like okay for me. But then as soon as I get to like complicated hands, I just like blank out and I just like... There, hands. <laughs> Anime anatomy is, well, any human anatomy is kind of hard to draw. It takes practice. I feel like this is super small in comparison to the other side. Huh, interesting. Um, I have to switch that around. There we go. body and leg oh yeah Raven you you drew fan art of me for the first time actually just like today right I was so surprised okay look I don't really look at my fan art tag on Twitter all that often because I know for a fact that I don't really get that many fan arts at all so I only check like probably once a week but then an easy way to get my attention is to just post it on discord because I check the channels pretty often even though it doesn't seem like I check the discord that often I do check the discord often okay guys I lurk yeah hands are hard to draw you know hands are hard to draw feet are hard to draw <laughs> shoes are hard to draw I'm just complaining it's just skill issue it's 
fine. It's okay. This is fine. And then deform this because I want to stretch this a bit to match. Is that a bit too big? It looks a bit too big. Or doesn't it look big? I don't know, it's the same size almost. Yeah. Okay, that works out. There we go. You just have to like placement wise to make it look nice. And now it just looks a bit not centered. Hold up. I don't like this. I don't like this. Like here? From from here in the nose. There we go. Dude, this is so messy. <laughs> We can fix that. No, I didn't know that you were an artist, Raven. I'm surprised. There's only so few of you guys that actually draw. Um, JV draws, I know. Yeah, some of you might know JV, who appears in chat occasionally. You should let us know when you're lurking so we have time to clean. <laughs> no. You know, I don't really like setting my Discord status as any other color. I like staying invisible, but just know that I might be online. <laughs> I might be online. Yeah, JV. Not not too mistaken with uh, JBrew. Gonna make the art class a reality first so I get more fan art. <laughs> I guess so, that's true. Look, I did post like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw me, remember? Like a few months back? I did that! I don't know if any of you guys followed that guide. It was pretty easy to follow. I'm joking, I don't expect anyone to draw, draw or follow that, but I just drew that for fun. Okay, there we go. This one's done. This hairstyle. I don't know if I like it. It's a bit messy. Mm. The more I stare at it, the more it looks weird. The more I'm like, am I vibing with it? Not, no, not really. Okay, maybe if I color it. But maybe if, then, if I color it, it'll, it'll look we weird too. I don't know, guys. Art is a complicated process. <laughs> Five. You know... Okay, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna keep quiet. I'm gonna keep quiet. You guys talk about funny things in chat. And I'm just like, man, these are my viewers. <laughs> these are people that I've spoken with before in chat. <laughs> it's okay, you guys are nice. As long as you guys don't break any server rules, I'm okay with it. Remember to color the cookies and pizza? Oh, right. Okay. What color pizza do you guys want? I see all all-knowing slime, you know? Nothing can escape me. Pizza's more yellow, right? More more on the tan tanner side, like that? Oh wait, no, this is a cookie. Right. Oops, sorry, it's not the pizza. The pizza is the one on the bottom. I goofed up, guys. And then you have, like, the crust here. That's kind of, like, brown. Do you guys like pizza crust? Okay. This is gonna be a hot take, but, like, I don't like eating the pizza crust. I don't know. It's just hard. And, um, it's just bread. I don't know. I think it's because I don't like bread in general, too. <laughs> so I just eat, like, this part only. <laughs> Will the Discord behavior affect how you treat us in La uh, Lamb of the Cult? Um, Cult of Lamb? No, not really. Maybe. Perhaps. Well, I'm done with Cult of Lamb. I don't think I'll be playing the game on stream since I'm done the game. Alright, pepperoni is like red, right? I don't know. 
Do you guys like the pizza crust? <laughs> Was this another grant? What do you mean? Okay, and then the cookie. I don't know. Do you guys like chocolate chip cookies? I kind of like raisin cookies. Oatmeal raisin cookies are the best. And I will die on this hill about it. Pretend this is like raisins. I don't know. Now it just looks like chocolate chips. Oatmeal reason is a bit more on the brown side, right? Because it's kind of like... Well, not really burnt, but... More ovally shaped. Not too sure how to describe it. I've made oatmeal raisin cookies before. I should know how this looks like. It's a bit more textured than this. Okay, this looks very gross. Um, yeah, you know what? Do you guys want this cookie? You can have it. Mm, you like pizza crust if it's soft? It's like a breadstick done. I don't like the thin crust because it becomes hard. I think I don't like the like it when the pizza crust is like hard too because also when pizza becomes kind of stale and cold, it, it essentially you're essentially eating cardboard at that time. Yeah. Uh, I do try. I do plan on playing Enfield when it comes out because you know Ark Knight's lore and all that stuff. Maybe we'll find some neat Easter eggs. And Angelina's in it too, even though it's a clone. So I'll still be playing it. Oh, am I gonna talk? Okay, you guys brought up pineapple on pizza now. That's not on me. I brought up the crust. <laughs> I brought up this topic like long ago. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys are like not pineapple gang. But just a quick reminder to let you guys know where I place myself. I love pineapple on pizza. <laughs> it's so tasty. I like pineapple. I like the sweet on pizza. Oh, peanut butter cookie. I don't think I've had peanut butter cookie at all. Well, I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter. I'd say. I used to like peanut butter. Like, um, peanut butter and ketchup in, in a sandwich. I used to have that as a kid all the time. I love that. I don't know if I still do now, but I could probably still eat it. And, um, what? Yeah, I prefer almond butter. I used to, I used to have this like huge almond butter craze, like a few years back. And I just spread it on a bagel. That was super tasty. <laughs> Weiss, no! <laughs> don't judge me by my taste. It's okay. People can have their preferences and whatnot. Here, let me just try coloring the hair to see how this looks like. Maybe we should color the skin too. Hold up. Okay, we have like 10 more minutes on the clock before I end stream. And maybe a bit if I get distracted. But, you know, it's been a fun stream, guys. It's been a fun one. And lots of progress has been made. Oh, you never had a good one? Mm, I don't know what makes a good pineapple on pizza, but so far all the pineapple on pizzas I've had were pretty good in my opinion. So I don't know what kind of pineapple on pizza you've been having. doesn't look too bad. Kind of. Is 
So this is kind of just like base colored. It's fine. It's okay. How do we jump from spiders to pizza? I have no idea. Okay, the pizza was on me. I was like, you were like, draw, draw a cookie. And then I'm like, is this a cookie? It, it'll be easier if I draw a pizza. And then I drew a pizza on the side and then someone brought up pizza. And then I brought up pizza crusts. Yeah, this could be like an alternate hairstyle I'll have in the background. Like, only people watching the stream will know that this might be canon. But who knows, maybe I'll make draw like a reference sheet of everything that you can draw of me. You know, once upon a time I did say that I would draw like a new reference sheet for like my current outfit. But I didn't. <laughs> It's been like a year now. I just don't have the motivation to do it. Will we see Yuko in the ponytail or other hairstyles? Probably. Maybe pony steel. Mm, I don't know what sort of ponytail style I would go with. Maybe just like a normal high, high ponytail. That's it. I do like low ones too. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, braids are cute too. Oh, I did draw my character in a braid uh, in that one thumbnail, didn't I? But braids are hard to draw. I don't I don't really draw braids that often. Braid on shoulder style? That's cute. Yeah. Mohawk? Oh no, not a mohawk. <laughs> this isn't Fist of the North Star. Maybe in another universe. You know, this looks like a completely different character. It's not me, is it? But the crystals are in place. It should be me. That's me. Now, maybe this would be me if I weren't the slime VTuber. Yuko doesn't know? What do you mean? Are you talking about the, the, the hairstyle of death of anime moms? <laughs> I don't think it's braided. It's just like a side ponytail. It's not braided at all. I know! It's not braided though, Al! It's not braided! It's just like a simple side tail! Like this, and then, and, th and then this, and then... Oh, 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 but, but, but. Like this. Like that. It's just this! There's no braid! Is it braided? I feel like it isn't! Or am I just tripping? Am I crazy? Maybe I am. I swear it wasn't braided. Okay, whose hairstyle was braided? Not Aaron's mom. Not not like Edward and Al's mom either. Um Alphonse, I mean, not Al. Not Al and Chat. From like Full, Full Metal Alchemist. Those are like, the only two iconic anime moms that I know that has that hairstyle. Isn't Aaron's mom? Wait, can someone do a quick check? Aaron's mom? Hairstyle? I'm pretty sure it was just like a normal side tail. No, 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 no. I, I don't think so. Atta attack on Titan? Aaron's mom. I don't even know her name. <laughs> Just a normal one. I'm right. Okay, hers is just a normal side tail. It isn't even a braid. Okay, now full metal, metal alchemist. Um, Edward. Edward. Mom. 
Yeah, that is not a braid. That is just like a ponytail that's slightly curled to the side. Yeah, that's not a braid, guys. <laughs> the Mandela effect. Okay, true. Fair enough. Could be one big braid, but yeah, I don't I don't see I don't I don't see the braid, guys. Actually, maybe in this picture. No, 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 no. It's just it's just puffed up at the end. It's not a braid. Welcome back, Smith. Oh, no, no. We're, we're just talking about the uh, hairstyle of death for anime moms. And um, Al mentioned that there was like a braid. And I'm like, hold up a second. There's no braid for those. What about the mom from Parasite? The mom from Parasite? Wait, which mom from Parasite? Parasite? There's a mom in Parasite? Parasite mom. I don't see any moms with... with with the ponytail. No, I don't see it. I see the parasite looking girl. Not that one. <laughs> okay, I'll keep the cookie up. Shinichi's mom? Wait, okay. Parasite... Shinichi mom. Nobuko? Is that her? She doesn't have- it doesn't look like she has a side tail. Like her hair is like parted to the back, but there's no ponytail at all. So I don't know what image you're looking at. Yeah, I don't see it. Well, this is weird. Okay, so um, there's no braids. We have come to a conclusion that the hairstyle does not have braids, okay guys? <laughs> it's, you're you're kind of tripping there with the Mandela effect going on. I think it just became a common trend that people started pointing out like, Oh no, that hairstyle. Is that is that anime mom going to um, perish? Maybe, perhaps. I don't think I've been seeing that trend as of recently in animes. I'll just say that. It used to be a thing of the past, but not anymore. Okay, now to maybe shade this? Color, color it. Man, if I had more time, maybe I would have put more effort into this, but I think it's about time I end stream, guys. And then prepare to go to sleep. And then I gotta go out tomorrow. Well, I mean, I, I, I go out anyway, so... Oh yeah, so like I got a call from like the local game store. I think um, I told some of you all this on a different stream, so maybe some of you missed out, but uh, I went to the game store to ask if they had like copies of Unicorn Overlord, and the dude was like, no, we don't have any more physical copies because we all sold out, but I can like get a shipment of a physical copy for you from another location. It'll take about a week. I'll give you a call back. And today, I got a call back. Well, it was a voicemail because I missed the call about them getting the copy. So they're like, okay, you can come come by anytime this week. We'll hold it for like six days for you. So stop by whenever. So I'm gonna go pick it up while I'm out as well. So looking forward to that. That time I won't be able to stream it, but I'll let you guys know my experience. Maybe I'll make a review video of it too. Not my channel into like turning into a game review. I should really do more game review videos because I used to do that back then when I first started my channel, but then I kind of stopped because all I played was like gacha games. <laughs> so maybe eventually, you know? Yeah. Okay, what is coloring? This is so bad. I don't like this. Now, it's just the thing... Like, I have a Nintendo Switch, but I don't know how it works with, like, connecting it to PC. It's, like, really hard, or so it says, or kind of complicated, and I don't really want to bother myself with it, so yeah. 
And then it makes me low-key regret not getting a normal Nintendo Switch because that can connect to a PC. So I'm just like, man, missed opportunity. Yeah, I have the light. Because I preferred like a smaller and lighter handhold console. And I didn't really care much about like the side stick thingies that you can like pull out on a normal switch. So I was like, uh, past me was like, oh, I don't need that. And also it's cheaper to get the light. So I did, so I got the light instead. Does it have a dock? No, the light does not have a dock. No. Yeah, I can't, I can't stream it. No. Unfortunately. I don't think I would go out of my way to buy a new Switch just to stream, so it'll be fine, it's okay. You know, it's kind of sad that Unicorn Overlord doesn't have like a PC port. It's really unfortunate. Like, I would buy it in a heartbeat, honestly. Well, I didn't really know about the game until I saw like this really nice L2D looking animation that I saw from like a Japanese user post of this girl. Um, I like animated in this like shop looking place. I really liked how like the art style was so that kind of hooked me on. You know to get my attention just the art style alone is enough and maybe a bit of the gameplay. And the game gameplay kind of looked interesting too. It's like turn based. I'm sure eventually isn't Dragon Crowns on Steam. Dragon Crowns? What's that? Is that made by the same developer of Unicorn Overlord? Imagine if I get the physical copy and then immediately after, like, there's a physical release, like, not physical release, like Steam release, six months later down the line, and I can't really refund my game anymore, huh? <laughs> That's how I feel with Gravity Days. What's that game? I don't know what that is. Gravity Days is wasted on Switch. Oh, Vanillaware, same developer. Ah, so it's another fun game, but no PC port for it. Aw, man. That's unfortunate. Okay, I think I'm just about done with this now. Just a bit of highlights. Okay, it is past 5. I mean, not 5, um, 12 a.m. right now. I was looking at the 5 at the end of the number. I was like, 5, hold up. I don't read it. I don't read it from, like, right to left. <laughs> I am not okay. I need to go sleep. It's 12 of 5 right now, guys. I gotta go. I don't want to finish this. Oh, hello, Mochi. How are you? Are you done streaming? How was your accurate lore run for, for like that one episode? I forgot what episode you were doing. I, I saw Horn or something. Not Horn. Zaleek? I don't know. Was it episode 9? Yeah, how was that? Unlucky that Penelover hates PC games, so pretty low chance. Oh no. Okay, then I don't, I don't think I can look forward to it then, huh? PC release. And can someone convince them to release a PC release? Can they? Like with not with enough popularity from the community, they, they should listen, right? No? Or is it just like a trend that they just outright don't do like PC releases? How to do highlights? I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just drawing random white lines on my head. There we go.
Okay, that's it for the hair. And then I'll just quickly do the diamonds. I won't shade it in, but it will look kind of weird. With no highlights. But if I do this, this will definitely look like me. Yes, okay, there we go. It's not too bad with this hairstyle, I will say. It's kind of cute. I like it. Trend Atlas has said they asked, but they seem to not want to. Do they not want more money? I don't know. I think I think they have a sizable player base to like buy online copies on like Steam. Well, maybe one day. One day. There we go. Oh shoot, was I supposed to color in the eyes here? Oh no, I'm supposed to erase this. Like this. Oh no, not, not like that. Like that. There we go. Shall we dub this Yuko cozy Yuko Yuko Nesama? <laughs> okay, what should we dub this Yuko? I don't know. What vibe does this Yuko give? Something. Something. Even I can't tell what this Yuko gives. Oh no, my color wheel. I'll clean it up another day if I do feel like it. Uh, 80% chance that I probably won't, but you know, that's fine. And what color... Maybe a beigey yellow. I like I like beigey yellow sweaters or turtlenecks. Actually, that doesn't really look good on me. Blue? No. Pink? No. I don't like these colors. Yeah, you know what? Blue on yellow. That always looks nice. Or it could be white. I can RGB it. purple. Hold up. Let me just shade it in and then I'll just like use the color wheel. Not color wheel, but like the color thingy to just like change everything up. You'll, you'll see what I mean. do this to change the color the hue oh hello kage how are you yeah i'm about to wrap up now <laughs> unfortunate how was work hope it was a good day for you thanks for catching stream though purple doesn't really oh purple mm, looks a bit off this blue you know you can't go wrong with blue you really can't Green. Oh, that doesn't look nice. So it's either like this yellow color or um, this bright yellow? Bright yellow looks nice, actually. You know, it's a contrast. It's a contrast between the two. This is nice. No, we'll just keep yellow. There we go. Oh, shifts looks crazy? Oh man, but now you're off! Okay, let me just save this. And name it Yuko Yuko's, I guess. 
That's gonna be the, the, the file name. I should really have a separate file for all my, like, Yuko drawings. Yuko's... As if I'm saying Yuko is a whole different character from myself. Man. At this point, VTubers are essentially OCs. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Maybe I'll use this for a thumbnail. Actually, it looks a bit too plain for a thumbnail. Uh, maybe another drawing stream. This feels like a light novel. Like, sprite. That would appear and be like, Hey, how are you? <laughs> another Yuko variant. Yuko in a different universe. Yuko who's not in a fantasy outfit. Okay, take care guys. I'm gonna go. Ugh! Posture check! Hydration check! I'm gonna go sleep! Maybe read a few novels here and there. Um, chapters. Catch up. I'm not even finished. Okay, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching stream! Well, I don't, th I don't think I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. Just letting you guys know. I wanna play Stardew with Yuriel. <laughs> so I'm gonna just, like, grab her. Okay, bye! Take care!